And this is live coverage of the launch of a NASA Terrier Improved Mountain Use Suborbital so Sounding Rocket from NASA's Wild Flight Facility on the eastern shore of Virginia. Launch this morning has uh, gone very smoothly. All payload checks have been completed. Uh, at 3.30, the report was that science conditions are good for launch. So we uh, don't have the clouds that we've had in the past. And also, then at 3.46, Range Safety reported that the current surveillance report at that time showed that the range was green for launch, that we did not have uh, any boats in the surveillance area. Also, just a reminder for those who are watching on STV and also uh, the Ustream that we do have a little bit of delay from actual activity here at Wallops. Uh, so if you're looking to go out and actually see the launch, uh, take that into account. Uh, One minute. Confirm payload go status PLC. PLC is go. ACS. ACS is go. EDS. EDS, let's go. 50 seconds. PI. PI's go. MM's go. SRPO. SRPO, go. Check item 217. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 0. Second stage ignition. Anticipating roll rate spikes at the point. A doors. I'll see the doors uh, coming off, and you'll see the ampule injection. Uh, MB injection doors. From the payload. And you're now seeing the payload as it uh, reached Abigee and is starting to descend back down towards the Earth. The bright light that you see, of course, is the sun from that altitude. So that concludes today's uh, mission. Uh, looks like things were successful. We did launch at 4.25 a.m. Again, go to the Facebook Live and our Facebook site at Wallops, and you can see some of the photos uh, that were posted of the uh, the actual uh, releases that people saw anywhere from Virginia Beach to, like, up to Long Island. 